Oh, there we go. I'm just going to wait till we get a few calls. There we go, live on Prescott, the beautiful VJ and Andy. There we go. Okay, so we got uh, we got a follower on there at the moment. Do you want to, do you want to just quickly say hello to everybody? Hey, everyone. Cheers, Hey there, everyone. Hey there. Now here we have the beautiful VJ, obviously a cosplayer. Doesn't normally dress like. Oh, did I do you? Uh, normally dressed like this. It's either this or red dresses. That or red dresses. That's fantastic. And here we have Andy, the brains and the the brawn, <laughs> the brains and the brawn behind Wintercon. Ah, oh, there we go. Trademark that, the brains and the brawn behind Wintercon. Um, obviously, we had a periscope with Andy a little bit earlier, but now we're going to speak with VJ over here. Now, tell us a little bit about Fanic Cosplay, please, VJ. Fanic Cosplay is a small local group based on yes. well, the Isle of Fanic. We started last um, April, so we've been running about 19 months now. We originally started as a small but within our first year we did 23 events and a residential event promoting, stewarding and cosplaying. We run the Arts Award for ages 7 to 25, which at level 5 is worth 35 UCAS points. And we're an all-inclusive group for all levels, so we involve families, but children have to have an adult with them. We involve people with physical and emotional or learning disabilities and special educational needs. And we see benefits for everybody by being involved in just having fun and cosplaying. That's fantastic. So it's more than just cosplay, because I know there are lots of people out there. Cosplay has become insanely popular over the past maybe five years or so. Five, six years, yeah. Definitely. And so it's more than just cosplay to you. Yes, we get involved. It's very easy to just stand there in a costume and look pretty but we're unique in that we try and provide something useful as well. We'll steward at events, we'll issue tickets, we will count people in and out, give directions. Frequently told people, toilet's over there, which is <laughs> one we're always getting asked. Um, we will be involved in risk assessments and health and safety for helping events actually starting to get set up off the ground. We'll go in, we'll do setups, breakdowns, we'll promote events in advance, do flyering, carnivals advertising and try and get the community actually involved in an event rather than sort of just sit back and wait for it to happen. That's awesome. So what made you want to do more than just cosplay? It just came together in that way. Um, our cosplayers have all previously either been involved in volunteering or have volunteer work. Um, we get youngsters who they don't do work experience in schools anymore in the way they used to so by working in a volunteer role within cosplay they're getting work experience and transferable skills and it, it just came together and worked. It was a great combination and people are quite happy to approach a cosplayer for help because they look friendly, they look fun, they're not stood there looking a little bit sullen maybe and I'm sat here not being really wanting to be here whereas we're having fun and people just want to be involved. So it was just a natural evolution of, yes. of, of process really? Yes, it just happens. That's fantastic. Now, going to go over to Andy, this handsome, handsome devil of a man here. Um, how, did you, how, did you, uh, how did you meet the people of Fanic Cosplay and VJ? Fanic Folkestone, we've mutually That's agreed. Um, this was a small event based in Folkestone. Um, 5,000 people crammed into an area probably the same size as two large football pitches. It was quite incredible. VJ was sitting there eating a banana on the balcony. <laughs> thought we weren't going to mention that. There's far, there far worse as we can mention. And we got talking and uh, VJ was very approachable. She seemed to have a great bubbly atmosphere about her. And a good connection was made. We worked hard and we've been friends pretty much ever since. And we've just been working hard mutually trying to get both things off the ground. And how long ago was that? Two years. Less than two years. Um, yeah. Yeah, about, about a year to, yeah, about 16 months ago. 16 months, yeah. 16 months ago. And, and obviously you guys work very, very closely together. We do. We work we are fully autonomous separately, but we have a lot of communication between the pair of us. Yeah. We both support different projects, but then we find we, we, we pass cross quite, quite a yes. few times. Sometimes without realising. Oh, yeah. UK Games Expo would be a path where we never thought we would meet each other and Andy's now working very closely on UK Games Expo. It's one of my first cosplay volunteering opportunities and 
we came across each other there this year and we'll be together there next year as well. Yep. That's fantastic. And so you're, uh, VJ, you're an official member of staff on the, on the Wintercon member of staff, aren't you? Yes, that's right. I'm the cosplay coordinator and I try and get everybody involved in cosplaying and having fun. That's fantastic. And obviously Andy's the brains behind it and there's there's some mug behind the camera that now does all the social media thing. I but think his name is Greg and I think he's social media, but I can't be sure he's absent at the moment, but, yeah. but maybe we'll come back soon. All right, thank you. In a skirt, wasn't he? Kilt. No, skirt. Kilt. Skirt. <laughs> Kilt. Skirt. <laughs> a chair at the moment. <laughs> all right, well, that's brilliant. Thank you ever so much, VJ, and thank you very much for coming down and supporting Wintercon here at Airborne. Wintercon Halloween, don't forget. Oh, yes, Wintercon in Halloween. It's going to be great. Wintercon. And play Margaret. Play Margate next weekend. weekend, Winter Gardens in Margate. Um, we start on Friday, running through till Sunday. We've got Simon Burley actually running Golden Heroes on Saturday afternoon. Unique opportunity to roleplay with the man himself, plus lots of other gaming. Awesome. So thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Ta-da for now. Bye-bye.